Hello lollies, welcome back. Welcome to my Black Forest Cheesecake. Are you ready to get excited for some cheesecake? <laughs> Alright, this is going to be awesome. Alright, what we first need to do is get a 20 centimeter spring form tin. So it's one of the smaller sorts. You want to cut a piece of paper out. Um, a round piece of paper out and stick it in the bottom with a little bit of butter to keep it there. Cut some strips, stick them around the sides to keep it there. And we've got our tin ready to go. Now we need 125 grams of butter in a, chopped up in a small saucepan. We want to put that on the stove top on a low and melt it down. Now while we're melting it down, we need any plain chocolate biscuits you can get your hands on. We need 250 grams. Now with these, you can either um, break them up into a food processor and crush them down to uh, crumbs that way or you can stick them in a freezer bag and use your rolling pin and um, if you're going to use your rolling pin or any way you're going to do them in the freezer bag always start at the bottom and leave the top open that way the bag won't pop and if you're like me you use a hammer yeah baby Righty, biscuit is crushed, butter is melted, in it goes. Now we just want to mix it all around until the whole thing's wet. Once it's all wet, we want to stick it in our pan. We want to get the back of our spoon, spread it around evenly, and then push it down firmly. Once we push it all down, you can run your spoon around the edge and get it nice and flat, and then it will look like this. <laughs> now we chuck that straight in the fridge for half an hour to set, and we can get on to preparing some other things for the filling. Alrighty, now I'll write the recipe below for you guys, as always, to make it easier for you. Now what we need for the filling is a 250 gram block of regular cream cheese. And the first thing we have to do is get that opened into a bowl, covered in glad wrap and set aside because we need that at room temperature before we can make it. It has to be at room temperature, all right? Um, we need, now you're supposed to have a 425 gram can of stoneless black cherries in syrup. I've only got a 415 gram can, so that's gonna have to do. Um, we need one tablespoon of lemon juice. So yeah, that's the lemon I got from a Woolies delivery. <laughs> Say no more. So hopefully I can get a tablespoon out of that. We need some gelatin powder, caster sugar, and 300 ml of thickened cream. All right, so I'll just chop it up so it warms up quicker. And we just set that aside for a minute. The next thing we need to do is we need to get out another small bowl and put 300 ml of cream in it. Now with an electric beater, we want to beat it until soft peaks form. Now we have our soft peaks forming. When you go like that, it's nice and thick. Make sure you don't get it too much that it goes lumpy, all right? You've got to stop it before then. All right, we're going to clean them out, wrap that in Glad Wrap, and we're going to stick it in the fridge. Now we need to squeeze enough juice of a lemon to get one tablespoon of lemon juice, and we want to set that aside. Now we get our can of black cherries, and we just open them up a tad. And we need to pour in three quarters of a cup of the syrup, and we need to set that aside for the topping. Then we can drain the rest of it out. Then we want to stick our cherries into a bowl, okay? Cover them with Glad Wrap and stick them in the fridge. And now we just wait for the half an hour to be up and for the cream cheese to be at room temperature. Now this is just optional, but if you want to decorate the top like I'm going to, I'm just going to get a small saucepan. I'm going to fill it up with some boiling water out of the kettle. I'm going to stick a small bowl on top. Now you can use white chocolate, dark chocolate, brown chocolate, whatever you want. It's your cheesecake. You can do it anyhow you want. So today I've just got some of these um, black and gold chopped chips, so they're going to have to do. So I'm going to melt down some of these. That's probably too much. And um, I've got some fresh cherries. I've got these. Seven bucks for this punnet at Woolies Delivery. And they're all old and crusty. I'm absolutely spewing. So I'm going to dig through the lot and see if I can find eight good enough ones. So what I'm going to do is when it's melted, I'm just going to get a cherry. I'm going to dip it in the melted chocolate. And then I've got a little plate and I've just covered it in alfoil. So you just dip it in the chocolate onto the plate with the alfoil. 
Yeah, so be careful when you do it that you're going to try and leave it sitting there for a few minutes to go harder than whack them in the fridge and they're all ready to go if you want to decorate your cake that way. Um, the reason I'm doing eight is because it's an eight slice cake, cheesecake, so I thought it would be nice to, you know, have one on each one. But yeah, just an option if you want it while you're waiting. Yay, all right, we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to get half a cup of boiling water out the kettle. Just put it into something bigger. Now we want three teaspoons of gelatin powder and then we want to mix it as well as we can and try and get it all in. Now I don't care what anyone says, I can never get it to mix all in. So just mix it in as well as you can and then if you've got one of these little, see these little strainers here, I'll use that when we're pouring it in to our filling after and get all the little little bits out that you can't get. So just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. And then we're gonna set that aside to cool down while we beat up the filling. Now that our cream cheese is at room temperature, we want to get three quarters of a cup of caster sugar and our one tablespoon of lemon juice. And now we wanna get the electric beater out and beat it up until it's all smooth. All right, that literally takes half a minute. Now we want to fold in the cream. So just, just like this, just keep doing it like this until you can see it's all mixed in perfectly together. Now that's folded in beautifully. We just got to wait about five minutes or so for that um, gelatin to cool right down. So what I did is I put the gelatin into a mug because in that metal thing it was cooling down too slow. Okay, so once we've got that cooled down, you can dip your finger in, you can't feel anything that's cool enough. Pour it in. And now we would just want to gently mix that through. That takes a red hot minute to mix through, but just be, just be patient, it will get there. Alright, once we've got that all mixed through beautifully, like a saw, we're going to get our base. And we want to put one third of this mixture in our base first. Try and spread it out evenly on the bottom as much as you can. Now we want to get half of our cherries and lay them out along the bottom. Then we want to get our next third and pour it all over the top of those cherries. Once we've done that, we put our last half of the cherries in. I just put them in different spots. Now we want to put the last of our filling on top. Okay, now once that's all in there, we're going to pick it up and drop it a couple of times. Now we're going to whack it in the fridge like that for a couple of hours to start setting. Alrighty, a couple of hours later, now we're going to do the toppings. We get a small saucepan. We put our three quarters of a cup of cherry syrup in there that we saved. One tablespoon of caster sugar. One tablespoon of corn flour. Now we want to mix it in really, really well with a fork until we blend it all in properly. Then we want to put it on a medium heat. We want to bring it up to a boil. Once it starts boiling, it's only going to take a minute or two to thicken. And then we take it straight off. Now before you put it on the stove top to do that, Make sure you get yourself some rum. I'm using Bundy rum, but you can use any rum you want because we're going to need that as soon as this comes off the stove top. Okay, so make sure you stir it constantly and once it starts boiling, it literally takes between 30 seconds and a minute for it to thicken up to like that. I don't know if you can get the see properly. That's exactly how we want it. All right, now we want to put in one tablespoon of rum. Mix it in really well. And then we're just going to set it aside for 10 to 15 minutes to cool down properly. Oh yeah baby, now I'm starting to get excited, we're coming to the end of it. So these are one of those kind of cheesecakes that you just make all day long in between, like I've done lunch, I've done dinner, um, I've done gardening, like I've done so many things in between making this. Okay, now we get it, just going to swap it out for a spoon. We pour it over. Make sure you're in view. Oh. <laughs> Get all that goodness in there.
All right, and then spread it out gently. Okay, once we've very gently spread it on there, have a look at that beauty. Pick it up and drop it a couple of times. Get it all nice and even. And yes, you guessed it, back in the fridge it goes for at least an hour or overnight. Okay, so now I'm gonna beat up um, a little bit of extra cream um, and do some little fancy things on top. Hopefully I'm a little bit out of sorts with it. I haven't done it in ages. So I can only find a little one of these, so we'll see how we go. Really, you want a bigger opening one. Anyway, these I got off of Wish, and they're like silicon, and they're awesome because, I mean, I've had this for at least a couple of years now, and you can just wash them over and over and over, and it saves you a lot of money. So, yeah, I think they're about 7 bucks for a small one and 9 bucks for the big one. The big one I use without the end on it for when I do sausage rolls and that. But, yeah, anyway, so I've got one of them out, and so what I'll do is I'll get a long, long, tall cup of some sort, put it in there, fold it over it, like a saw so when our cream's ready it's easier to put in there like that okay all right so i've got roughly 150 ml of cream in the bowl and i'm just going to sprinkle in some icing sugar we'll say quarter of a cup a teaspoon of vanilla extract and i'm going to get the electric beater out and beat it up all right, now that's done, I'm just going to get a spoon and we're going to spoon it in. Depending on how you decorate it is how much it will need. I probably won't need all of this, but I'll use it on something else. A bit of apricot jam on toast with some cream. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, so I've just pushed it down a bit to get it near the end. I've just tied it around a few times. And now I'm just going to sit it in the fridge like that while we get our cheesecake out and get everything ready to go. Oh, <laughs> this is where you can't help but get excited. Da -na -na -na. All right, first of all, very gently take the wall off. Just wiggle it softly. Come on, little fella. Come on. Ooh, so far, so good. You are absolutely best off leaving this till the next day. You should always make it the day before just to let that the flavours of that rum settle. Now, if I left it till tomorrow, it probably won't run anywhere at all. But because I'm doing it now, it might run a little bit. But I think that'll look gorgeous going down the sides of it. So let's see what happens. It's nice and gently. I want to slide it underneath and break the seal with the paper we've got under there. So just in a little bit and go around. I can feel it breaking now. You just got to be really gentle, that's all, and take your time. There's absolutely no rush. It's going to be tricky now. you kind of got to get it underneath. Be really careful. Lift one side up a little bit first. Peel that paper back under it. Once you can get your hand in under the paper, gently slide across. And lift her out. Look at this baby. Shit, I should have had a plate ready. Ah, kind of wanted a round one, but you get that. Gently put her on there. Oh, ho, ho. oh my god, mate. Look what we just did. <laughs> Can you see the cherries on the side there? Oh, you know. Yum. Alright, sorry if this is taking a bit of time, but it just does. Oh, looks so good. Okay. Get everything out of the way. Now, most people would leave it just like that. You can absolutely leave it just like that. Let's see if I can get it up and off you. Probably can't. This crazy line. Okay. Now, I'm going to attempt to make it pretty. So, I've got me cherries. Grab me cream. I just put it in the fridge because it really is warm here, really warm here tonight. So that's how many cherries end up coming out. <laughs> okay, so this is supposed to be an eight slice. So I'm 
So squeeze a little bit into the cut first and get any air bubbles out. Oh gosh, I haven't done this in so long. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do them yet. Might go on the outside first. Something like that. See if I can do one straight across. Out, I'll go out, make an out circle first. Then go in. <laughs> Pretty basic, I'm sure heaps of people do them a lot. Right, I'm going to try and go exactly in the middle. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am right now. It's just so much fun doing stuff like this too. It is a bit of time consuming, but like I said, just do things in between it and that, you know, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Okay, and now I'm going to do one dot in between all of them. Right, not quite even, but that's just how I am. That's how I roll, mate. <laughs> oh, did I say this is fun? Okay, now I'm going to hopefully get a cherry, chocolate-coated cherry. Oh, man, they're pretty big cherries, aren't they? Oh, well. And I was going to sit one on the top of each one. It's a huge cherries. Now we can leave it like that, or we can fill it in with some cream. And I think I've got enough cream here, I might just go around and fill them in. I might just do little ones. Just like that, and just keep joining them all the way around, I reckon. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just going with it. It's a good thing about decorating stuff, you can always cover stuff up and add more stuff. And Never known to give it a go. It, I'm telling you, it is so much fun. It's um really, it's relaxing. Like you're not thinking of anything while you're doing it. That's the whole point of cooking. You know, if you ever get stuck in quarantine or something and you just don't know what to do, cooking is a great thing because it takes so much time. Um, your day can just go like that. Alright, it's starting to get a little bit, um, it's really warm here, so it's starting to run now. Should have the air con or done it a bit quicker. Oh my gosh, I don't know whether to put one in the middle or leave it like that. Oh, I better work it out quick. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to leave it exactly like that. Well, there you have it, my friends. Look what we just did. Oh, how awesome is that? Oi. Have a great night. Thanks heaps for watching. Give this one a crack. Mm -hmm -hmm. See you later.